Welcome to my views and news. Some new stories from Ethiopia. Firstly, PM Abiy's ally has suffered a serious setback. A party which is an ally of the Prosperity Party is uh, faced with internal uh, crisis. Seven executive committee party members have resigned. Secondly, Somali region of Ethiopia, I reported two days ago about tribal conflict in the region. Uh, some tribal elders are accusing Mustafa Omar that he is supporting his tribe, his clan. Today, a tribal elder was arrested in Jigjaga again. Fingers are being pointed towards Mustafa Omar that he is unfairly supporting his tribe. What is happening? Detail for you. And thirdly, viewers, Tigray. Today, Tigray diaspora members uh, gathered in front of USAID office in the US trying to put pressure upon the USAID to resume supply of wheat and food items to Tigray. Uh, we know that USAID and World Food Programme suspended distribution of aid, distribution of food, provision of food items to Tigray, uh, accusing uh, authorities in Tigray, people in Tigray, some people in Tigray being involved in food theft. And WFP issued a statement. WFP uh, Executive Director Cindy McCain spoke a few hours ago about protests which were held in Tigray uh, uh, two days ago. Protests were held to put pressure upon the international community to resume delivery of aid to Tigray. So what did uh, the WFP and USAID say about uh, possible uh, resumption of aid delivery to Tigray or not? Firstly, viewers, uh, Izima party is a political party led by Professor Behanun Naga. Behanun Naga is serving as a federal education minister, close to the prime minister. Izima party ran as a position party in 2021 general election. The party could not win. Uh, any considerable number of seats. It won a few seats. Uh, but after NPP uh, gained landslide victory, Prosperity Party led by PM Abi. PM Abi took opposition parties uh, in the cabinet. Bhanunaga was made a minister. Nama, National Movement of Amharas. And the opposition party ran as opposition party in election was also adjusted uh, at cabinet. So all opposition parties became part of PM Abi's cabinet. All you can say those who got some seats like Nama and uh, uh, Izima. So since then Nama Izima have been supporting PP, though they keep on issuing statements uh, criticizing the government. Basically, they are part of the government. They are part of the cabinet. This policy of being part of the government has uh, damaged these parties. We saw that Nama split into groups. Uh, some MPs of Nama, they criticize Balayat and Mola. Uh, and Nama is not united now. Same is happening with Izima party. Andualam Arage, uh, one of top uh, party officials, a few weeks ago resigned. He said goodbye to party. He contested or he announced to contest party election against Bharon Naga. He said that uh, he was unable to work. Uh, he was not being given room to work. He was being given political space to work. Today, seven executive committee members of Izima resigned. You can say 70 to 80 percent of parties top leadership resigned today. And among those who resigned include big names like uh, Yeshivos Asifa, Tekle Bakele, Haptamo Kitabo, Daniel uh, Shibashi, Nancy Vabne. Uh, Nuri, uh, 
then uh, Jualgao uh, Jamare. These seven members are senior members, part of executive committee. They say that uh, they tried to talk to the party leadership. That party leadership is part of the injustice which, it be, which is being committed against the people in Ethiopia. That they talk to party leadership means Brown Naga. But they were not listened. So they are not in a position to continue their work with the party. They have decided to leave the party. What will they do? They try to form a new party, we don't know. But uh, opposition parties, if become part of the government, they lose their uh, standing, their presence in public. Unfortunately, opposition parties after 2021 election became part of the government. Some say they are not opposition parties. They are basically part of the government. Uh, they have been part of PP. But they were uh, just uh, projected as opposition parties. That is why internal uh, conflict now within PP, within NAMA, we have been seeing since last year, we are seeing the same happen in uh, Izima. Let's see how Veronaga tackles this uh, challenge for him. PM Abi's key ally, Veronaga, is faced with a challenge, it seems. Secondly, we have Somali, region of Ethiopia, another PM Abi's uh, uh, colleague, uh, PP uh, region head, uh, Somali region president, Mustafa Omar, who is being accused of supporting his tribe unfairly. Four people of uh, a tribe, Ogas Koshan, were assassinated last month. They were killed due to land dispute set. Mustafa Omar's government says that it arrested those who were involved in the killing of Ogas Koshan four members. And that it's an old issue, it is about the dispute over land between some clans of a tribe. Ogas Koshan elders, they refuse to take diet money uh, from uh, those who killed the four uh, tribal members. Government claims it is neutral. It is not part of uh, this uh, conflict. Ogas Koshan elders, some of them accuse Mustafa Umar that Mustafa Umar's Rir Issa clan is involved in this conflict. Conflict is between Rir Issa and uh, Ogas Koshan. Mustafa Umar is unfairly supporting uh, Rir Issa. He is using uh, regional forces and uh, he is not uh, giving equal treatment to all the tribes. Two days ago I shared a video, a picture of some Ogas Koshan elders who said that uh, they would not take the youth from any third party and they accused Mustafa's government. Today an Ogas Koshan elder was arrested in Jigjaga. His name is uh, Muhammad Askar. Ogas elder Muhammad Askar was arrested in Jigjaga from Shahid Hotel, arrested by regional police. And after that, reportedly people tried to block uh, Garbo to Jigjaga Road. So tension rising, tribal tension. Mustafa Umar's government claims to be neutral. He claims uh, Mustafa Umar's uh, close to. Be People close to Mustafa Umar say that uh, some elders who are not two representatives of Ogas Koshan, they want to create conflicts. Government is neutral. Government wants this issue to be resolved. But Ogas Koshan elders say that Mustafa Umar 
is using state machinery against Ogas Koshan people because Mustafa's tribe, Rear Isaac, has seized lands of Ogas Koshan uh, tribe. And uh, Ogas Koshan uh, tribal elders, they want to retake their properties. Let us see how the government handled this issue. I think Mustafa Omar should try to uh, lead process of reconciliation, should call a meeting of elders of uh, Ugas Koshan, Rear Isaac, uh, both are I think Muhammad Zubair, uh, tribal sub branches. Uh, uh, since he is now becoming controversial, so he, he should try to lead the process of uh, mediation between the two tribes himself. Because uh, security for, use of security forces won't resolve this issue. What is the crime of uh, Ovas Muhammad? Why was he arrested? Just because he is from Ogas Koshan uh, and just because uh, Government wants to silence Ogas Koshan elders. Last year was Tegarai, uh, Tegarayans today protested, or the, you, can, uh, you can say they uh, uh, gathered in front of USAID office in the US. Tegarai protested in Tegarai uh, this week. We saw big demonstrations in Makale, Adyagarat, uh, Adwak, Som, etc. Uh, and there they demanded uh, restoration of uh, aid supplies to Tegarai. World Food Program, USAID suspended delivery of aid to Tegarai a few weeks ago saying that aid was being stolen and that aid was being sold in open markets. So they demanded inquiry, they demanded accountability. Uh, then we saw protests. Gattacho said that people are dying a few days ago, that uh, uh, banning a delivery to Tegarai means uh, sentencing people to death. That is what he said, Gattacho, a few days ago. So pressure is being put by Tegarai authorities, Tegarians on USAID and World Food Program. Executive Director of World Food Program, Cindy McCain, spoke yesterday. Uh, a reporter asked a question about uh, suspension of aid supplies to Tegarai and she said that aid was being stolen. And uh, culprits in Tegarai must be held accountable and that WFP was trying to form a foolproof mechanism so that uh, aid reaches the deserving people. It means World Food Program, USAID, they are ready to resume supplies to Tegarai, but they want the Tegarai government to take action against those who stole aid. Getacho uh, ordered an investigation into the allegations of aid theft. What happened? Any report? No one knows. So basically, Tegarai authorities, Tegarai, people of Tegarai, they want uh, restoration of uh, delivery of aid, but uh, Tegarai government is not identifying the people who are involved in aid theft. Katachow's government is a weak government. He is faced with challenge from top TPLF leaders. He is not in a position to make big decisions. Uh, so, so that is why people are suffering. People are in dire need of aid. No one can deny that. Tegarians are dependent on food aid. If food aid remains suspended, people will die. But who will be responsible? World Food Program, USAID or Tigray government? Tigray government would be more responsible. Government should identify those who stole aid. Aid which was meant for poor people of Tigray. Take fortune.